Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, says 32 out of the 102 casualties recorded from Thursday's collision of a train and BRT staff bus in the Keja area have been discharged. Abayomi stated this while addressing journalists at a press conference held at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital lawsuit on Friday. Plus TV correspondent Lovi Kuku Oyedokun was there and now reports. The bus train crash occurred at the early morning hours of Thursday, the 9th of March, 2023, at Ikeja. According to the Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, the number of fatalities still stands at six, while 19 victims have been discharged from the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lassut, five from the State Accident and Emergency Center at Old Tollgate, and eight from Morelia Gege General, Hospital. There are very few hospitals in the world that can cope with a sudden surge of very critically injured patients. So the triage process also identifies some of the injured passengers that can be transferred to other established general hospitals in Lagos. And what we did was to transfer 25 of the less severely injured to five of uh, four of our general hospital, Bagada General Hospital, Lagos Island General Hospital, the Toll Gate um, Accident and Emergency Center, and the Orillia Gate General Hospital. Professor Abayomi added that 256 units of voluntary blood were received on Thursday from Lagos residents, while 40 units of blood had been transferred for the victims. Professor Adetukumbo Fabamu is the chief medical director of LASUT. He stresses that the recruitment process of drivers generally should be refined. 4 p.m. we had finished the triaging. We had moved some patients to different, other different hospitals in Lagos State General Hospitals. We had taken some to the theater for operation. We had moved some to the intensive care unit. Some had gone for various investigations like x-rays and scans. Okay, so by 4 p.m. we had finished triaging and um, the whole place was empty. All patients had been sorted out. Meanwhile, the wife of Nigeria's president-elect, Huluremi Chinubu, accompanied by the wife of Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sawunlu, visited the Tichin Hospital to empathize with the victims and assess their ongoing treatment. The ladies commiserated with the families who lost their loved ones, describing the accident as unfortunate and deeply painful. We can just hope that the drivers are more careful in the future, and because they can see what has happened now, lives have been lost. So we, uh, you know, commiserate with the family that uh, lost some loved ones, and those who are here, we wish them speedy recovery. Senator Chinubu urged drivers to be more careful and work to avoid situations that can result in the loss of precious lives in the future. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.